the world's most powerful rocket, the silly half of a football field in size, moved to Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39 in preparation for its first flight test. On our trip to the launch pad, the Apollo 4 speeds up to seven miles per second. No man will ride this rocket, only instruments to record and transmit information on its performance. The giant Saturn V itself, from liftoff to orbital altitudes. Second, the spacecraft heats heat generated as the space lunar re-entry. Enough power to place 35 Gemini spacecraft into orbit at one time. The first stage will push the spacecraft to an altitude of around 38 miles before separation. Shortly after second stage ignition, the launch escape be discarded. The second stood 17 miles above the South Atlantic. Then separation will leave only the third stage and the spacecraft into a proposed 117 mile circular orbit. The stage engine will be restarted. This burn of the third stage will follow the burn. A little over one minute later, the spacecraft service propulsion engine will make its first burn, which will change the apogee to more than 11,300 miles. Telemetry checkout of the spacecraft will be the only activity for the next two hours and 20 minutes as Apollo 4 races through space toward apogee. During its return, it will be pointed toward Earth. This prepares the vehicle for its final powered. It will enter the Earth's atmosphere four minutes after final engine cutoff from the service module. Thrusters align the command module with the heat shield toward Earth will cause it to skip back to the outer fringe of the heat shield to dissipate a part of the heat load generated by at a slower speed. This permits a second entry into the is the 10,200 foot mark and has been stabilized by the drogue chutes. The main parachutes will be deployed. Eight hours and 43 minutes after liftoff, the flight will end in the Pacific Ocean.